Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I painted the succulent using soft pastels, pan pastels, and a little color pencil. So I've really been into painting and drawing succulents lately. I've been obsessed. I don't have a green thumb at all, so painting and drawing them and having them hanging on my walls is the next best thing. The supplies I used in this are the Stabilo Carbothello Chalk Pastel Pencils, uh, the Rembrandt Soft Pastels, the Prismacolor New Pastels, which are firmer pastel, and Pan Pastels. My reference photos from Pixabay, and I really punched up the colors to make it more vibrant than the original photo. I wanted a very whimsical look and I think that I achieved that. So on the succulent itself, I used pastel pencils and pastel sticks, and in the background I used the pan pastels. So you'll see me going over and over the um, the succulent with the pa with the different colors um, just to add more dimension. And it's just kind of a back and forth process. So I'll darken up a spot, you know, lighten up another spot, go over again to darken it more. So here I'm pretty much just blocking in my colors and I'll add more detail work later. I did have to spray this with a, with a fixative a couple times and I didn't really like the fixative I used so I'm going to try to find a better one. Um, if anyone has one that they use that they really like, can you um, put it down in the comments below? I'm really interested to see what other people use. Mine um, left a kind of shiny sheen on it and I really did not like it. Um, that paper under my hand is just a piece of tracing paper so that I don't um, get the pastel on my hand and then transfer it to other parts of the drawing. I loved how colorful um, this turned out. The reference photo itself, the succulent, has a lot of these colors in it. I just kind of made them a little more vibrant. Kind of matches my decor of my home, so that's what I was going for as well because I really can't wait to hang this up on my wall. Oh, and this is on a 9 by 12 UART, uh, I think it's UART 600 paper. So it's like a, it's a sanded surface, so it'll take more pastels, more layers. I think I like the 500 better. Um, I used that on a different uh, pastel painting that I did.
So here I'm starting, I started with a colorful background because in the picture it's got um, a lot of succulents um, in the background that are blurred. And I was going to do that at first, but it was it just seemed so busy looking and I really wanted the succulent front to be the star of the show. So I ended up painting, starting painting like a blue color down at the bottom and I really love that color so much, and there it is right there, that I just went over everything else. And you can see that it just, you can go over um, the pastel so easily. I don't mind using my finger to blend. I find it did kind of take a little bit of my skin off my fingers, but um, it wasn't too bad. But I find um, blending with my finger is my favorite way. And the Soft Pastel tools, um, they're actually, I find them better for the Pam Pastels than using them for the um, the soft pastel sticks or the pastel pencils it lifts way too much and I find it actually better as an eraser so I would go around the outside of the um, the succulent around the background where the background meets the succulent and I would go around and kind of it I could erase around so I could clean up the lines. And I find that worked really well. So for everything else, I just used my finger. And yeah, it's messy, but I don't mind. I'm a messy artist anyway. So I decided to loosely add in some little buds. And here I'm using the, the, the soft tool to erase the edges, it worked really well. So again, I'm not going for like a super realistic look. I wanted it, I wanted it kind of sketchy. I just, I try to go for super realism so much on my other pieces that it's kind of fun to relax and make things a little sketchy. And not worried about having every single detail.
here I'm going in with the pastel pencils and adding uh, some more details, darkening the shadows. Giving it more contrast. And then adding more highlights. So the color pencils I used are the Polychromos pencils, which are oil-based, and I used my Luminance pencils, which I regret using, but they are um, a wax-based pencil. Because I ended up using my Powder Blender, which I found that I really didn't need since there's already a chalk kind of base from the pastels that they blended already. I really didn't need the powder blender at all. 
seventy five hundred seventy five dollars. 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 Seventy five hundred seventy five